An Ivy League professor's mistaken removal from a flight is raising questions this morning about passenger rights. American Airlines questioned economist Guido Menzio after another passenger raised terror suspicions over his intense writing. Well, it turned out to be complicated math. He was allowed to fly, but the mix-up caused a two-hour delay. Chris Van Cleve is at Reagan National Airport with a look at what rights you give up when you buy a plane ticket. Chris, good morning. Good morning. Every time you buy that plane ticket, you're agreeing to the terms of service spelled out in one of these. This is an airline's contract of carriage. It's about a 40 or more page document. It spells out all the rules for flying, including the rules for your behavior. Escorted off a plane and not happy about it. This man was one of six people booted from a Spirit Airlines flight after arguing with a flight attendant about double booked seats. What do you mean it was for? This passenger allegedly punched someone, forcing her flight to divert and police to drag her off. 26-year-old college student Carol Dean Makzumi was escorted from a Southwest Airlines flight in April. He says another passenger complained about a phone conversation he had with his uncle in Arabic. She turned around, actually, and she started staring at me, and I knew that there's something wrong. Southwest says our crew responded by following protocol. It was the content of the passenger's conversation, not the language used, that prompted the report leading to our investigation. Airlines give themselves a lot of wiggle room in the ticket's fine print known as the contract of carriage. Southwest can boot a passenger who is disorderly, abusive, offensive, threatening, intimidating, or violent. Most even reserve the right to remove a passenger for a malodorous condition. That's right, if you smell bad, you could be shown the door. They can kick you off for just about anything. Fact, Peter Greenberg is the CBS News travel editor. You can get kicked off the plane for how fat you are, if you stare, if someone overhears you in a language that they may not recognize. The operative word here right now is fear. Airline employees are given training on cultural sensitivity and how to respond to emotional passengers. But often, the deciders of who goes are the flight attendants and ultimately the captain. Bye now, thanks. I've seen a lot of people who should have been thrown off, not thrown off. Flight attendant Heather Poole wrote Cruising Attitude, tales of crash pads, crew drama, and crazy passengers. She says it all comes down to how passengers behave, and flight crews often err on the side of caution. You have to be kind. You have to be nice. If you can't control yourself on the ground, how, how, I don't know what you're capable of doing in, this, in the air. Now, if you are booted off a flight or removed for some reason, those passengers are typically owed a refund. When it comes to the truly unruly passengers, 99 were reported to the FAA in 2015. So far, just nine this year. But those people can face large civil fines and even be prosecuted for interfering with a flight crew. Gail? All right, got it. Thank you, Chris.